Hi there. In this video, we're going to learn how to solve multiplication equations using equal groups. Multiplication is one of the four elementary operations in mathematics. The other three operations are addition, subtraction, and division. So, what is multiplication? At its heart, multiplication is repeated addition. Repeated means the same thing occurring over and over. Addition means combining numbers to make a total. When we talk about repeated addition, this means that the same number must be added over and over again. For example, 2 plus 2 plus 2 is repeated addition because all the groups being added are equal in size. 2 plus 2 plus 2. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is also repeated addition because all the groups added together are equal in size. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 5 is not repeated addition because the groups are not all equal in size. See how there are three groups of 3, but then there is one group of 5. So, since multiplication is repeated addition, this means that multiplication is adding a series of equal groups over and over to make a total. But let's step back for a moment and look at an example. Let's say we want to find out how many are in four groups of two. If we were to write this question as a multiplication equation, it would look like this. Four groups of two equals. And since we know that multiplication is repeated addition, we know that it could also be written as two plus two plus two plus two equals. Okay, so back to the question. How do we work out how many are in four groups of two? Well, the question says that there are four groups. Let's make four circles to show our four groups. One group. Two groups. Three groups. And four groups. Now, if we look at the question again, it says that there are four groups of two. This means there are two items in each group. Let's add two oranges to each group. Two in the first group. 2 in the second group, 2 in the third group, and 2 in the fourth group. How many oranges are there in total? We can skip count by twos to find out. 2, 4, 6, 8. So the answer is 4 groups of 2 equals 8. It can also be written like this. 4 groups of 2 equals 8. Remember, x is the symbol for multiplication. It can also be written as 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8. Great job! Let's have a look at another question. Okay, this question is written as a multiplication equation. It reads, 3 groups of 4 equals. So, how do we solve this equation? Well, we follow the same steps as we did with the previous question. We know this reads, 3 groups of 4, so we begin by making 3 groups. Now that we have out 3 groups, we need to add 4 items to each group. I'm going to add 4 bananas to each group. Let's count how many bananas are in all 3 groups. We can skip count by 4s. 4. 8, 12. So, the answer is 3 groups of 4 equals 12. And 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 12. Now, I want to show you something very special. Are you ready? We just worked out that 3 groups of 4 equals 12. The first number is known as the multiplicand. The second number is known as the multiplier. Okay, here comes the amazing part. We're going to swap the multiplicand and the multiplier. If 3 groups of 4 equals 12, what does 4 groups of 3 equal? Let's make our 4 groups.
Let's add three bananas to each group. We'll skip count by threes to find the answer. Three, six, nine, twelve. So, the answer is four groups of three equals twelve. And what do you notice about both multiplication equations? Did you notice that three groups of four equals twelve, and four groups of three also equals twelve? This is known as the commutative property. It means that if a multiplicand and a multiplier are reversed, the answer will always be the same. How cool is that? Commutative property means that three groups of four has the same answer as four groups of three. It also means that two groups of three has the same answer as three groups of two, and that four groups of two has the same answer as two groups of four. Now that you have a better understanding of solving multiplication equations using the strategy of equal groups, let's see if you can answer the following multiplication problem. Matt had five pizzas. He placed six slices of tomato on each pizza. How many slices of tomato did he place on all the pizzas? Pause the video and draw your equal groups and multiplication equation on a piece of paper. Okay, we're back. The answer to the multiplication word problem is the following. Matt had five pizzas. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six slices of tomato on each pizza. Six. Twelve. Eighteen. Twenty-four. Thirty. So, the answer is, 5 groups of 6 equals 30. 5 groups of 6 equals 30. 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 30. So, in total, how many slices of tomato did he place on all the pizzas? In total, Matt placed 30 slices of tomato on all the pizzas. Excellent understanding. Well done to you. You now know how to solve multiplication equations using equal groups. If you're a teacher, tutor, parent or carer, don't forget to check out the description below for a link to a multiplication resource for kids.